All right, this makes me very, very upset. Just a few weeks ago, we talked about Skull and Bones. Obviously, um, because of Ubisoft's financial stuff, we, or, you know, their financial report, we, I guess, routinely find out that the game, uh, you know, constantly gets pushed an extra year, which is obvious. We we knew not to expect the game. I I would assume over the last, uh, over the next year or so. Okay, so we talked about that a few weeks ago. Negative, but I I, I personally, because of, I guess how much I still believe in this game, which I'm probably Probably one of very I know there are others I don't want to say I'm the only one but I'm one of the very very few that still believe in this game um, I, I try to spin it in a positive way where it's like well they talk very positively on it we know the game has been rebooted in the past that, like you know people have left the team they've had to restart from scratch and that sucks and that has obviously put them back but hopefully the product we get at the end of this is really good right so that's the summary of my life that's the summary of the past couple really years of skull and bones well I found this little article okay uh, and I don't know like I don't want to believe it but at the same time it sounds pretty accurate but yet again I've never even heard of who game luster is so that's something uh, and maybe you guys do so keep this in mind I don't know who they are I've never seen this website before in my life but they say according to a source familiar with inner workings at Ubisoft so I mean it kind of immediately starts not good I hate it when anybody says that that doesn't make you any more or less true uh, maybe it actually makes you less true who has asked to not be identified says the ship combat uh, you know adventure title skull and bones had to restart development from scratch a second time just a few months ago and this was published a day ago so they're there this is a new thing in their string of actions to combat uh, certain claims, let's say, they removed the managing director at their Singapore studio. We already knew that, who is developing Skull and Bones. Our source has told us that around the same time, Skull and Bro Bones was brought back to the drawing room table and had to begin work uh, from the ground up. Game Luster was not able to confirm these two events were directly connected. Our source has told us that the new alpha build is very similar to Microsoft's popular pirate game, Sea of Thieves. I have so much to say about that that I despise, and I'll say it in a second. And uses first-person point of view when in the ship, but turns to a third person when you exit the ship. They also said that the game is in pretty early stages right now, and even in using many untextured boxes, so there's no way it'll be done in time for 2021 launch. Well, that's... Okay, and and likely not even 2022. All right, so now after reading that, I'd like to say that I m not, my confidence on this article being correct is insanely shaking, uh, shaky. I don't like a lot of what they said, but I did like. Okay, they say that it just happened a few months ago. So I, I mean, you don't say a few when you mean a year ago. Okay, and I hate it when game developers, when journalists, when anybody says that kind of stuff. So if they, when they say a few months ago, I'm going to assume they're meaning 2021, which the rest of the stuff that they say doesn't make it sound like they meant 2021, but they said a few months ago. So either the person's an idiot, and I'm not calling the person out. I don't know who the person is. I'm not even going to say who the person is, any of that stuff. But like, if you meant in October, you should say like in the fall, or you should say over half a year like something you say something like that so you know again like reading it now like for like the third time doesn't sound very good but um so we knew about the managing director leaving that's what did this that's what started the whole thing now like but okay another thing that i guess is confusing is like we've heard reports that i believe it has you know started from scratch a couple times like not just one probably at least two that it's restarted so like that so not like now thinking about that okay well is this article necessarily wrong no it depends on when they're saying that it restarted my theory that's not proven right is that they have been okay with this game they've been working on this game okay for the past like at least a year if not year and a half to two years that's my opinion that well and and, and it's opinion slash, I guess, like me really wanting to believe that good things can happen to this game and that the game one day comes out because like if it just got restarted, like in January, it's not coming out for years. That's like, you know what I mean? Like it's not coming out for years. Even if they use a lot of stuff that they, you know, they had, I still think it would be at least two. E and that's if they rush it two years, two, two full years, if not longer. And that's if they app, that's if it's completely rushed. So like, that's why I'd like to believe that, yeah, they did reboot it, they did restart it, but probably one to two years ago, hopefully two, they got it under control, and now the last two years, they've been doing well, because that means 
that in another year, year and a half, that would be, you know, that, I mean, it's super long since they first announced it, but in their new cycle, it would have been like three years. Do you know what I mean? That's how I've always rationalized it to myself. Now, again, there's no backing. It's just my own personal belief, but the way Ubisoft talks about them, it seems like they're okay. I, I don't know. I don't. Do I think that Ubisoft would admit that they restarted again just a few months ago? No, I don't think they would admit that, but also at the same time, when do you just cancel the project? So if it restarted again a few months ago, I would like to believe and I don't even think this is, you know, cancelizations have a very, obviously is a negative thing in the gaming industry, but like, okay, think about it. Like, honestly, think about it. If you're a company, you're trying to make money, all this stuff, and this game is, has been happening, and they come to you five months ago, and they say, hey, boss, we need a redo. And they said, but you already had two. You've been working on the game for four years, five years, maybe. You need another redo? And they're like, yes, yeah, sir, we do. It's like, no, you're all fired. Or, or, or switch pro... You know what I mean? Like, I mean, that, that sounds very rough. But at the same time, if you can't pull it together under those circumstances, there's clearly an issue. Maybe it's maybe it's the boss's fault, right? But there's clearly an issue there somewhere. I would just imagine they would be moved off of it. So that's uh, that's most of it. One final thing I want to say is to Sea of Thieves. Now, look, I, I don't not like Sea of Thieves. I actually kind of enjoyed it. Now, I, I barely played it. I played it for like five hours and it's a solid game i mean i've watched other people play it i know it's a game that's been supported insanely well it's a really good example of how to support and now it's not a good example of when the game comes out and it lacks everything and then they add it all in after so it's kind of i guess maybe like a battlefront 2 situation you don't want your games to do that but it does fall into the battlefront 2 situation of good foundation good core immediately and then all it needed was that additional stuff and once it got there then it's a really good game that was pretty much sea of thieves in my opinion and that was pretty much that easy i mean i guess also my opinion but i played back Battlefront 2 a lot more. That was Battlefront 2. Uh, so, like, I mean, and not that I'm saying that for Skull and Bones, like, the content that you're going to be able to do in Skull and Bones, I think is going to be very different from Sea of Thieves, but I also don't want the first person point of view, like, at, at all. I will honestly say, I don't want it at all. I don't know if that's just, uh, maybe that's an unpopular opinion. You guys are going to disagree with that, but, like, how hard is it? Like, I don't know if this is true. And this part is literally just thrown in there just, like, to do it. I don't know if it's true or not. But, like, what was so difficult about listening to what fans said at that E3, 2017's E3, when they showed this game? What was hard about going back, listening to what fans said, and adding it? Like, wh what was actually so difficult with that? And I'm not... And I'm not one of those people that just say, oh, add everything into the game because I know game development is easy and it must it's just a click of the button. You hit the space bar and everything that fans requested just transmits telepathically into the game. I'm, you know, people actually, they don't believe it like that. They're not that stupid. But people do believe that it's relatively easy to add this stuff. I'm not, like, that's not how it is. And so I'm trying to be rational and, like, a realist where it's like, I know Make, like I, I'm not a game maker, right? But I know making games is hard. I know that even one small feature request is not the click of a button. It's not even a day's work. It could be a month. It could be five months. It could be a year, right? It's long. So I'm not saying that they could do it immediately, but like they had a foundation. I think a lot of people really liked Skull and Bones' foundation. If people didn't like the foundation, there would have been a lot of other things said about the game, right? The main thing was let us get off the ship. And let us sword fight. Let us loot. Let it like that. And that stuff wasn't in Skull and Bones. They told us that. So, like, again, like, yeah, I know it's not a click of the button, but, like, was it that difficult to add that? Did you need to, like, I don't even know where they went to then have to reboot the game and then probably reboot it a second time. And if they went all the way to say, well, I guess, like, I mean, Sea of Thieves did come out right after that, right? So, I mean, maybe they looked at Sea of Thieves and said, we want to copy that, but we can do it in our own way, so let's do that. I mean, that's 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 not what I want. That's not, I don't think, what anybody cared about. Why would you want two games that are almost the exact same thing anyway? I don't even understand that as a basic premise. Why not have two separate pirate games, and maybe Sea of Thieves does some stuff better, but maybe Skull and Bones does other stuff better? Like, is that... Is that like, uh, like does, that, does that send you to hell if you do something like that in this world? I don't know. It probably does because they're not doing it. As you can tell, I'm mad because I really hope two different parts of this article are fake. I hope that it hasn't been rebooted recently because that means we have a, another insanely long wait ahead of us. I'm not about that. And then secondly, I really hope the Sea of Th uh, Thieves thing is not real because I also don't want that. You know, I keep showing you guys the, the, you know, the gameplay of what they showed at E3. I liked it. 
I mean, maybe that maybe that makes me evil. I liked the gameplay that they showed at E3. I do. I liked everything about it. I don't think there's anything. I, well, is there anything wrong with it? Maybe a little bit, but like, like that was fine. The foundation's so solid. I mean, the foundation's literally black flag ship stuff. That's the foundation. You can't go wrong with that. Just add to it. Don't don't change it. Don't make it a first person see at these kind of like a. Uh, and, I don't, and again, I don't, I don't want to bat, but like. It's more like a friend thing, like you're just kind of laughing, uh, you know, laughing about, and you're just kind of like doing random stuff. There really is no general point of the game. It's just you having fun with friends, and there's nothing wrong with that. You play Sea of Thieves for that. I don't want to play Skull and Bones for the same reason. I want to play it for a different reason. Give me these epic ship fights from Assassin's Creed. Up it to 10, okay? Put it in Skull and Bones, and then let a sword fight. And, like, like basically do Assassin's Creed, but make the sword fighting, like, its own unique thing. That's there. Maybe even, like, a For Honor kind of thing. Like, may steal that, because it's all Ubisoft, so steal that gameplay, throw it in, obviously change it a little bit, and there you go. And make it, you know, you could go on islands, stuff like that, accept quests. The supernatural thing that they teased at the end of the trailer, right, with, like, the Kraken, give me it. Like, is it that difficult? It must be. It must be. So let me know. I could go on for hours. Let me know, guys, in the comments below. What do you think? I'm very upset, but I want to hear from you guys. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys have the bell icon turned on. I do a daily video on this channel, and so I hope to see you guys for tomorrow's video.